In this video, you're going to learn how to create a Works Cited page using Google Docs. Now, when you are in Google Docs, there is a tool to help you with your citations. You can find it in the Tools menu. When I click Citations, it opens. Now, I have the options of MLA, APA, and Chicago. Our English class will always use MLA. So the easiest way to do this is to click the Add Citation Source. And as you can see, I've been researching how to survive a tornado. And I have these resources here, like from the National Weather Service, from the Weather Channel, and I have already taken these through the crap test. So what I can do is click on Website, Accessed by Website, and I can search with the URL. That means this address bar up here I can copy that, so I can right click, copy, or use that control C, and I can put that right here. So again, right click, I can paste, or control V. Now I tell it to search, and Google tells me that it found a title, the website title, the URL, but it's missing some information. So I can click continue, and now I see there's no author, so I just need to verify here, is there an author? So I look at the top, I don't really see anything. Maybe at the bottom, no, I don't see anything. So if I don't see an author, I don't say none or make something up, I can just leave it blank. Then I move on to the next section, title. It says, Tornado Safety. So I come back here, the title, ooh, I think this is, uh, oh yeah, tornado safety up here. I was gonna say tornado warning safety messages, but there's that there too. So, eh, I might change it to tornado warning safety messages because that feels more like the title. Now the website title is the next piece. So I go to the top, and I see it's the National Weather Service. National Weather Service. The next section is publisher. Google didn't find one. The publisher is usually going to be at the bottom. Um, this says USA.gov, government made easy. Hmm, so I need to decide, am I going to include any of this information? And I might, just leave that part off because I'm not sure. The URL I know is correct. Now it's looking for the date that this information was published. So I'm gonna go back to my website. I don't see anything at the bottom and I don't see anything at the top. Again, I'm just going to leave it blank. The access date is the day that you accessed the website. This shows that on December 16th of 2024, this information was correct. If you visit it later and it's different, well, I accessed this on December 16th, so changes may have been made. And the short title I leave blank, now I just get to add my citation source. I will repeat the same process with my next resource. So I'm going to add the source that I found from a website. This one is from the Weather Channel, so I'm going to copy the URL and paste the URL. Search, Google does its thing, I say continue. I just need to make sure that all of the information is correct. Sean Breslin, Sean Breslin. How to survive a tornado, ooh, I don't think we need the weather.com there. Ooh, this might actually be seven things you should never forget when tornadoes strike. So I do need to change that. Website title, the weather channel, publisher. Again, I'm gonna look toward the bottom of the page. Lots of ads and things here. Am I ever gonna get to the bottom? I might not ever get to the bottom. All right, We're, I don't think that means there's a publisher. URL, date published, May 26, 2024, 
2024 and the date I accessed it, perfect. I add citation. Now once I have my three citations here, all I have to do is click my insert works cited and it is in perfect MLA format. It is double spaced with this hanging indent, so that means the first line goes um, out to the margin and then the following lines are indented and it is in alphabetical order. Nothing is bolded, it looks beautiful. Now I just have to name my document and turn that in. But thank you so much for watching.